Well, hello and welcome to Absolutely Positively. I'm so excited today. But before I get into that, I'm your host, Denny Kay, and we're going to talk about motivation, inspiration. Why, you may ask? Because we created this space just for you, absolutely positively. This is a space for the IEM, the inspiration, the encouragement, and the motivation. And so with that in mind, we want to usher you into that space that creates and births your next reality, your next move, to operate in your calling and your absolutely and positively uniqueness. And how do I do that? you may ask. If you've been rocking with me and following, you know that I love quotes. I love quotes because words matter. Words are the very essence uh, to all that we do. We have to speak them, we think them, it is our language. And so if words are strung together in a special way that penetrates through your cerebral here and get some things flowing and activating, then my job is done. So that's absolutely positively. And we're gonna do that through quotes today. So if you're ready, let's get started. Oh, so this is why I was excited. This is what I was alluding to. Um, today is very special because today's quote is going to come from no other, <laughs> none other rather than me. <laughs> I'm going to share a, a quote of mine that uh, has been very near and dear to my heart. Um, I came up with this thought, excuse me while I pull everything up, but I came up with this thought one day when I was thinking about uh, some things in my quiet space. Um, and it resonated with me. I Googled it to try to see if anybody else came up with it. Because you know how sometimes you, you hear things and it seeps into your spirit. And over time, you think you've said it. And when in actuality, it's something you've heard. So hopefully this is not a, uh, what is the word? Uh, when you uh, copyright something that someone has already done or doing something that someone has done. Plagiarize, there we go, plagiarize. Hopefully it's not plagiarizing. It, it's not, it's not, I'm just playing. All right, so here is your motivational quote um, as it is by yours truly, Diddy K. And it says, freedom is a paycheck. I want it cash every two weeks because I never want to forget how hard I've worked for it. Again, freedom is the paycheck I want to cash every two weeks. I never want to forget how hard I've worked for it. Woo! Oh, man. <laughs> it's so much to impact or unpack, rather. Uh, with that quote. Um, I'll start by saying that to unpack that, we have to really talk about freedom. We have to talk about what it means to be free. And so many people uh, can attach to the word freedom and what that means. But for me, uh, freedom is not being attached to anything at all and operating in a space that you get to decide what you wanna say, what you wanna do, how you wanna feel, that's freedom. I mean, we can spin it so many different ways, but for me, when I wrote that, uh, that's what I mean. Life can get us so bogged down. Uh, if you're a mother, if you're uh, married, if you're single, if you're an employee, if you're a devoted you know, daughter or son, those roles in our lives can be rewarding, but they also 
can be filled with a lot of bounding. And what I mean by that is that we can get so attached to that and in a rinse and repeat type of situation that uh, it'll just carry us on, on in autopilot. And we do a lot of those things on autopilot. And it can be so debilitating at times that um, you just wonder if the real you is in there coherent to everything. And it's not that it's a bad thing to do those roles and obligations and uh, responsibilities. It's that just sometimes it can just be so binding. And we may often think that we're not free. And so for me, uh, working towards freedom, having a, a, a space of self-care, having a free moment, a free thought that is not attached to my daily life can be cumbersome. It, it can be hard to find. And so when I knew there was so much on me, so much on me in a day and all the roles that I play, searching and fighting and scratching for that um, moment, that free moment of freedom was, I couldn't see it. It was not in sight, y'all. And I had to work, I had to work for it. And so when I did, oh, it was glorious. It was glorious just to have a free moment to do absolutely nothing. <laughs> or to be able to think, to get some things off of me so I could think. So that's what I mean by that. So we, we know that if you are um, had any kind of job uh, and whether you get paid monthly or, or bi-monthly, we all know about the getting paid every two weeks. Most of us have had a job where we got paid every two weeks. And even if you don't know, you've heard You've heard about that. And so that's kind of how I felt. I felt that in my search for freedom or that free moment of not being a mother, not being an employee, not being a sibling or a friend or, or whatever, all these roles in your life, that I could work towards a moment that I worked hard for. And, and what did that look like? Making sure everybody is good. Making sure that job is done. Making sure the meals are done. Making sure uh, the sleepover guests are satisfied. Making sure um, that I have checked on everybody. Making sure that uh, I've encouraged everybody. Whatever it is. All of those were check, 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 and done. And then that allowed me the space to feel free. And so freedom is a paycheck I want to cash every two weeks. So that part right there, we have to get in a rinse and repeat about our freedom. We are in a rinse and repeat about our daily lives going on and on and on. And the next day, getting up, doing all the stuff you have to do, and then ending the day, going to sleep, being tired, getting back up and doing that all over again rinse and repeat, but your freedom, you got to fight for that. You got to schedule that. You got to put that somewhere on a calendar and get to a point of earning it. And then you can cash it in. So what I say, freedom is a paycheck. I want to cash every two weeks. And then when you're cashing that check, right? When this is back before direct pop and everything, this is showing my age, showing my age. But you had to uh, go to the bank to cash a check. So your employer would give you a check. You see what you earn. You're all excited. You went to the bank. You cashed that joint. And you were like, okay, I can't wait till my money hit because after I pay my bills, I'm going to get that pizza I want, or I'm going to get that bottle of wine I've wanted, or I'm going to get that jewelry that I've wanted. You are so happy because you have earned it. You've earned it. And when you cash that check and you know you're buying something that you've earned, there's a different little swagger 
That's a different little walk to your step, right? That's freedom for me. It needs to be that paycheck that you cash every two weeks or whatever you decide it to be. You know, that freedom that you cash every month, that freedom you cash every three weeks, every, every, every three months, every six months. I hope you don't go that long, but you get the idea. So that way, when you cash it, when you get to that point that you can do it, when you get to that point that you can cash it in and enjoy it, you never gonna forget because you know how hard you worked for it. You know how hard you worked for it. So here's my story. So we broke it down. That's our uh, quote, reached in our jar. I didn't say that. We reached in our jar, our positive jar, pulled out the quote from yours truly, Jenny K. And so now comes the story. If you've been following me, you know that's my format. So I like to share a story. So working hard on a project, I mean, kept me up day and night, got, got little sleep, still having to do the other jobs in my life and finally scheduled some downtime, finally scheduled a massage, finally uh, scheduled uh, uh, hair and nail care, you know, getting that haircut, get the nails and feet done. But I tell you, the true freedom of all of that, because that was self-care and that was good. But the true freedom moment after that project was going to the top of the garage of a, a building and standing in the middle of that parking lot in that parking structure, letting my arms out. And I'm talking about side to side, true surrender, where you hold your head back. And I allow the sun to hit my face. And I let out the biggest tribal cry you could ever imagine and release that. And in that free moment, got so much clarity, got so much clarity in that freedom. That was my freedom just releasing, just giving it back to the earth, just saying, here, take it, yeah, and let out that cry. And after I was done, I was like, that was the moment. That was the free moment. That was my piece of freedom that I had worked toward, and it felt so good. It felt so good. So I encourage you, whatever freedom looks like for you, whether it's something I've described or something you have uh, uh, differently, whether, you know, you define it, you define it. I'm not gonna lay down a whole lot of different examples because freedom is self-defined, right? Your freedom is not gonna look like my freedom. So let's not get bogged down on that. Let's get bogged down on the word. Let that attach to you and know that your freedom looks different, but you got to know what it is. You got to know what you're working for. You got to know what you're working towards. You got to know what is going to connect to that release when you have it. Because look up the word freedom. Webster defines it as such, but what does your freedom look like? Webster describes it as the power or right to act, speak, or think as one wants without hindrance or restraint. So you see, that was my freedom, but what is yours? What definition do you have that matches freedom? And once you know that, my friends, once you know that, my people, you can cash that freedom check. And always remember, uh, always remember how hard you work for it. So that has been our show. I hope you liked my little quote. You know, I am a poet, I'm a writer, and uh, I have thoughts sometimes. So maybe my quote will be one that's searchable one day. But as always, I hope something was said. I hope something was done that inspired you to your greatness. I hope that this resonates with you in a very, very special way because 
lastly, a lot of the things we do in our role can just bring us down. It can. And I hope that this lifted you up in some kind of way. So wherever you go, whatever you do, whatever you touch, you know absolutely positively that you are unique and that you matter and you are destined for greatness. You just got to open your mouth and let the freedom slide out. <laughs> this has been our show. Thank you so much to our sponsors, Mute Moga Media. You all subscribe and keep rocking with me because I'm enjoying giving you your IEM on a regular. That's been our show. Absolutely, positively make it a great one. Take care. Bye, y'all.